Yo, 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 it's Day Day here with another gameplay that we're going to be breaking down. Another solo game to help you guys get better and give you guys more tips to help you get more kills in Warzone. So, already at this particular point, I've got, uh, I took a red door. This is pre-mid-season uh, 4 update, by the way, just so you guys are aware. Took the red door, was able to get some cash. Um, this is also buyback solos. And get a advanced UAV, so I'm able to push a couple people, or push a guy, so I can get some more money. Next, I'm going to finish looting up on Superstore. I know there's no one else in here because of having that advanced UAV. So I just can freely run through here, get as much money as I possibly can so I can go ahead and get my loadout. Um, and then I'll be able to still push. And there's one more guy that ends up being in here. He must have dropped in as I was killing the last guy and the advanced UAV went off. But popping a uh, dead silence, he's not able to hear me. After the post update... I mean, after the mid-season update, the amount of dead silences that are in this game is insane. And I think it could potentially ruin the game. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I, for one, do love using dead silence, but uh, now there's a glitch where you can unlimitedly have it. Uh, where you're just running around. I'm not sure how to do that glitch, nor do I care to learn how to do that glitch. Uh, I think people who are utilizing systems that are that are breaking the game are ruining a game that we all love and enjoy uh, i think that's part of the problem is people just don't want to not do the things that are broken they want to take advantage of it it's one thing whenever there's a gun that's overpowered it's another thing whenever you're doing steps in order to acquire something you're not supposed to have <clears throat> so i'll go ahead and get my loadout uh and i've got two kills already got the uav up i've got money in order to get bought back in and I see there's two people right here. I want to try and push them uh, before they kill each other or one kills the other one. Because it's all about trying to get as many kills as I possibly can. The arrow tells me that he's above my elevation. So I'm assuming that he's on the roof. So I push up here to see if he's on the roof. I don't see him. So I do know that there's a spot in this particular building I'm going to. Uh, that little staircase that goes up. So... When I was standing on the ground, he was still above my elevation, uh, but he was not on top of the roof. So, see another guy run across, pop some shots on him. Uh, now I'm just looking for that particular spot. I don't know why I, I cut right there. Uh, that's weird. But I can see that he's below me because he's I'm, I'm not able to see him. So I know he's not on the same elevation. He's got to be in this room. This spot right here is a really, really good jump spot. Hold on. As I was saying, this is a particularly good jump spot. Um, he's not going to be expecting for me to come through this door, I mean through this window. He would be expecting me to come up the stairs or something like that because he could definitely hear me. But not being able to decipher where the sound is coming from is a huge disadvantage. So you have to start really focusing on with, when you have your headset on uh, where the sound is coming from. That is where a good premium headset comes into play. Me personally, I use Astro's, uh, Astro A40s. Uh, but any really good headset will allow you to do that. You don't have to spend the 250 or $300 on Astros. Turtle Beach makes really good headsets that allow you to actually like pinpoint where the sound is coming from. So instead of running up the stairs like he would be expecting because he thinks it's the only way to get into this room, uh, I come through the window, and sure enough, he doesn't even listen to the sound of the window breaking. You hear a, hear a sound that gives away a person's position, you should take advantage of it. He should have listened to that window being broken, uh, but he didn't, and he, it costed him. So now the next guy is definitely below me because the first guy wasn't shooting at him, so I know that he's not up top, and it's also right there where I'm at. So I'll just jump around the door because that's exactly where he would be at. Uh, not really the best spot to be in. I don't know why he would think that's a good hiding spot because there's nowhere for him to go uh, when I come around that corner. I guess he would expect someone just to run through there and then not check it or whatever the case may be but never put yourself in a corner where it's hard for you to fight so i end up dying and then coming back and i immediately come back to the same guy that killed me uh just because of the fact that i wanted to get my stuff back all right it's buybacks uh solos the guy immediately comes up and challenges me i get the revenge kill i get all my money back and then some uh because he dropped some of his money as well able to get my loot back 
And sometimes you just gotta you gotta play that way. Again, the only way you're gonna get better is by putting yourself in a position where you're facing more and more people. And that was a particular situation where I could face him, knowing exactly where he's at and get my stuff back. I just needed to have a good gun. That's why I landed on the roof so I could see where my loot was and what he took and what he didn't take. And he did take my guns, but he didn't take my satchel. So I tried pushing through here, but uh, for some odd reason, nah, I didn't know you couldn't go through there. So obviously, you know, a little little tip. You guys can't drive a car underneath a pipe. Um, I want to get this uh, bounty right here because a bounty, whether you have a UAV up or not, is going to tell you where at least one person is. So, and then I also want to build more money up. So not only is it providing me kind of like not necessarily UAV because they, it doesn't tell you the elevation they're in, you know, or whatever the case may be. But it does tell you where they're at. Uh, it does take about 10 seconds for it to update. I see the guy sniping at me, so I throw the car at him. Uh, again, I get lucky on this one. But using the vehicle to your advantage is a huge, huge thing. People are not expecting when you throw a vehicle at them for you to jump out. They're not expecting that. That guy actually was. He was paying attention to me and not the car which is a good thing so as soon as i jumped out of the vehicle not only did he get out of the way of the car but he went the right direction at where i would be so he knew exactly what to look for when i was in the vehicle and that's something you guys should be practicing is whenever someone's driving a car is that you're looking at the people inside the vehicle instead of just looking at the vehicle itself because if you're looking at the person when they jump out you're going to see they jumped out but if you're just looking at the car you're not going to notice that they were out yet because it's still going to be red on the mini map and sometimes it glitches and it just stays red, right? So pay attention to the people in the vehicle and not the actual vehicle itself. Uh, get a couple shots on this guy. I want to get a couple more before I actually push in there because I don't know exactly where he went. My UAV just ran out. So I call him my other one. I didn't really want to do that. But sometimes you got to do something you don't want to. In that particular gunfight, he gets first shots on. I'm so far away at that point, uh, and I know it doesn't seem like I was that far, but I was far enough away from the door that if I try and run out the door, he's going to get me. He's going to beat me. So it, it's a do or die time. And learning when and how to challenge someone is a key, uh, a key component in being successful. Uh, and if you can't make it to a door, like you knowing where you are, your situational awareness is going to be what helps dictate when and when you shouldn't fight. Uh, and that was just one of those situations so, pushing out, I saw the guy was at the bottom because of the UAV. He's just running away, try, trying to, instead of fighting, trying to find his way to some cover so he can hide in the corner, you know, be a little rat, whatever the case may be. So, I'm just able to push him right here. See, all these dead silences. This is even before the midseason update. But, again, going back to what I was saying, learning how to pick the fight and run from the fight, that's a huge, huge thing. Um, if... I didn't fight that, going back to the hangar. I definitely would have died and then be coming back instead of be where I'm at right now. So, get another UAV. Again, you want to constantly keep these UAVs up in the air because it's going to give you all the information that you need. I should be using a car, uh, and then why I got got rid of the car is just because there's constant people just coming. Right? I just want to push the next gunfight. So, I killed that guy. It's easy. He's out in the open field. I was trying to go for an assassination here. Um, this guy was so tunnel vision in on the fur one guy he was trying to kill that he just didn't know what to do. Uh, which is another thing that I talk about a lot is don't get tunnel vision. Um, that guy just happened to be caught in a bad spot by trying to climb into a vehicle. Now I want to hold this guy that's coming up. There's two people. Uh, and I don't hear them fighting each other. This guy definitely saw the first person I was going to kill. As you can see, I, was, I had my UAV pulled out. I might my UAV, my advance, I mean, my heartbeat sensor pulled out, and I saw this guy come around the corner, immediately switch weapons, so this way I can get rid of that animation. Learning the small tricks like that is what's going to help you uh, in the game, and that's exactly what it was. I just cut the animation. He makes the smart play by deciding to drive a little bit into the gas to get away from me and get away from the situation, and then he gets out of the truck. Uh... Don't know if he got killed by another teammate, or not teammate, but by another enemy, or the case may be. My play is I'm staying in that truck, and I'm using it to get to the safe grounds. Now I'm going to get back in my vehicle. We got a situation coming up where there's a jailbreak, but what ends up happening is I get this one last kill of the kid that jumped out of the truck, and then I end up actually dying. 
Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and